Hello YouTubers, this is my FA Part 107 Remote Pilot Test, I'm RC Oligo, and I uh, just wanted to briefly touch on two things, uh, one, what to study for, if you want to take this exam, and then also I want to review a couple of surprise questions um, that I saw on the test that wasn't necessarily exactly in the, uh, the study, study material. Um, just as a disclaimer, I did not pay for any online courses, you can do that also. But I did just by doing exactly what I'm going to show you. I got a 92 on the test, and the passing grade was 70. So getting right into the um, the, the study materials, um, I got four or five things here I'm going to recommend. First off, there's a, a wonderful uh, video out there on YouTube, um, which kind of tells you what to expect, and it's a great study reviewed by this Tony Northrup here. And uh, I'm going to give you all the links at the bottom of the uh, my, my screen there under show more but he has this video called free drone certification study guide it's like an hour and 43 minutes long everybody's uh, using this thing and they're all bragging about how much this Tony has helped us pass this test and that's certainly the case for me too so I strongly recommend you watch this video he goes over a lot of different topics that are covered on the test that you're going to need to know um, so also he has a written study guide that's linked to his web page and I'll provide that link too. It's just a uh, just a written study guide. It's probably seven or eight pages long that uh, has a lot of good information. It's going to be helpful when you go to take your exam. Uh, the exam is 60 multiple choice questions. I won't get in a lot of detail because uh, this material and this video here does. The second thing that I think was really important to study was the, uh, the FAA document out there. You can see it here. It's called Remote Pilot um, Small on Land UAS Study Guide. It's uh, 87 pages, and it goes through a lot of information that you're going to need to know. Um, this is the study guide that you'll, you're going to want to use, and go through that over and over again, highlight it. Spend uh, six or eight hours plus on this over a few weeks before the exam, and uh, that will help you greatly. The third big uh, tool or study material that we have is uh, GDR has a... Um, a really good practice test question site out there. There's like 126 test questions. What's nice about these is you check it off. This is just what the test looks like. You have a multiple choice, three choices. And when you make your selection at the bottom of the screen, they'll tell you, uh, they'll go back and, and tell you which ones you got wrong. Uh, there's other sites out there, but they don't ever tell you what the answers are. So this is really nice, these uh, practice test questions. Um, and then finally, you don't need to know this, but I just wanted you to be aware of this Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement from FAA. Um, this will be given to you during an exam. You can take it a small, very simple calculator, and they'll give you a copy of this. What I wanted to point out with this is, uh, in about fifth page in or something, is your sectional aeronautical chart legend, I call it. And this is uh, a lot of, several questions, probably five questions, um, you can usually just refer to this and get the answer or help determine what the most correct answer is. So I think if you spend 10 to 18 hours somewhere in there over several two or three weeks, that's what I did, you're going to easily pass the test. Uh, and again, as I mentioned earlier, all the links are available below the screen. Just click on Show More. So, so that's it for the study materials. Now I wanted to get into some new questions that I did see on the practice exam. Um, there was one strange question about uh, if if your FAA registration number is written on the inside of your, your compartment, like maybe in your battery compartment, uh, as long as you have a two to open that compartment or the two is attached to your drone, is that okay? Um, the answer is, the gist of the answer is obviously the FAA registration number um, must be clearly marked on the outside of your drone, not hidden away. But um, I didn't see that type of question uh, covered on any of the, the material, so I thought I'd mention that. Um, there was, here's a good example where that legend, this legend here helped me out because I, uh, there was a question there about is the airport marked R. I think I barely remember that, but all I did is I went to the legend in the booklet that they provide and you can clearly see that R means it's a private airport and that was the answer to that question. Um, I also got a question on the, the weather reports, the METARs, there's different styles, of, there's two or three different types of METAR or different type of weather reports the airmen use. There was something on there that talked about the remark, um, and I wasn't sure. RMK means remark. I wasn't prepared for this question, but I did guess it correctly. 
a lot of these questions um, you can eliminate pretty easily one of the answers so you get a 50 50 chance of getting it right anyways but uh, just be aware that when you get down in the details of the weather reports that they might ask you about what does a remark mean they want to ask about rain before 2200 zulu hours there so no be aware of that this was a question that I got wrong. I got five out of the 60 wrong, which is how I wound up with a 92. Uh, but now you're going to get better than the 92 because you're looking at this. Uh, this is similar to a question that I got wrong. Uh, basically, they're saying they want to know the uh, height above the ground and the base. So they're saying that there's a broken cloud at 1,800 feet. That would be the right here. And the mean sea level above sea level is... 1,295 feet right here, so they want to know the distance from here to here. So obviously you just subtract and the answer is 505. So and sometimes we'll ask you, hey, how if you're flying, you obviously we can only fly up to 400 feet, um, but that's AGL. Um, they want to know what the difference is too. So you might get a question on that, but just be aware of that. I wasn't quite uh, brushed up on that as much as I could be, and I, I did get this one wrong. There was a question on here about uh, flight visibility just be aware that the flight visibility in any airspace is three statute miles and that's about it really um all the other questions um the 56 or 57 other questions were pretty much based exactly or very similar to what i had studied for and then finally um there was one last question there it was asked uh about a temperature below zero freezing temperature how it would vast, vastly or would it adversely affect my drone performance? You know, first thing I thought of, and there was an answer there, talked about performance. Obviously, my battery performance is degraded when it's cold out. Um, but the answer they're looking for is, uh, was something like icing and moisture buildup. And I'm pretty sure they said on the wings, which threw me for a loop. But um, just be aware of that. That was the uh, what they're, the, the most correct answer. That was what they're trying to get at there. Um, so except for the uh, items I mentioned above, the test was in generally uh, pretty much what I had prepared for. And if you study these material guides, you're going to um, uh, do just fine. So if you have any questions, um, you can write uh, me a note on YouTube. And please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. And again, all these links are down below. So good luck, and um, I hope you pass the test.